The manatee we're releasing today is named Chessie. Chessie came into us with severe pneumonia, and unfortunately, the pneumonia did not seem to respond to injectable medication. So our vet staff thought outside the box, and for the first time ever in SeaWorld history, we used a nebulizer or a breathing treatment to deliver antibiotics directly to Chessie's lungs. We actually had a horse nebulizer that we would place over his muzzle, and when he would inhale, he would actually take in the aerosol or air version of the antibiotics, so it went right to the source of the infection. He was spotted floating abnormally in the water and they could tell that he had lost a lot of weight. He, people could actually see his ribs and that's very abnormal for a manatee. So they brought him into SeaWorld uh, where he was triaged and discovered that not only was he emaciated, but he also had a pretty severe pneumonia in his right lung. Chessie is a very well-known manatee. He was actually first rescued back in 1994 in Chesapeake Bay. Uh, Chessie has finished up his rehabilitation with us here in Orlando, and it's a great day to get him back out to the natural environment. Chessie is well, kind of a big deal, literally and figuratively. Uh, Chessie was first rescued in 1994 in Virginia, up in Maryland area. And that's really a very strange place to find manatees. And he really didn't belong there. And so he was rescued initially to bring him back down to Florida where he belonged. So a lot of people that wouldn't normally have a chance to know about manatees or experience manatees know Know about Chessie specifically because of his adventures. Something that is so important is that these animals don't have any natural predators and a lot of the manatees are, some are succeeding, some are not succeeding and the fact that Chessie was so old and that he is a known animal, he was rescued as an adult in 1994 and he's still alive in 2021 is amazing to both us at SeaWorld and researchers out who study animals out in the wild. And so we want to follow him closely because he is an ambassador for his species. If someone is out and sees an animal in trouble, they can dial pound FWC on any cellular device in the state of Florida. Those are going to be the folks you need to alert about that animal in trouble.